Let's get started with animation. Hi there, folks. This tutorial is about the twist. That's Chubby Checker here. Twist again, like we did last summer. Come on, let's twist again. And now we see him dance the twist, which was a very popular dance in the 1960s. And this is what the twist is about. You have a Wikipedia article about the twist dance and about twist in science, in mathematics and physics, geometry, etc. I can't play you the music, but I recommend you to listen to the music. It's a very nice song. And the twist in Maya is underestimated. Let's press the key F2. You see something happening here? It changes from animation where it currently was to modeling. When we press F3, we go to rigging. So F2 is modeling. So if you want that shortcut, just use it, F2. And uh, here you find under deform, nonlinear deformers. And let me extract this tiny window here. Bend, flare, sign, squash, and twist and wave. And twist is what this tutorial is about. I show you a few applications of twist which are not boring at all. It's a very straightforward way to model complex geometry. I will also use the bend, but only once. <laughs> okay, so let's leave, leave this open. And now I show you why the, let's create a sphere, why the twist is a little bit depressing. You see this thing and nothing happens. And uh, when you go to the attribute editor here, you have the twist one in my case. You have a start angle and an end angle and nothing happens. So this is frustrating. But uh, when you look at the <laughs> sphere, it has changed quite a bit. And when you scale it up like this, and maybe rotate it a little bit, you see that something interesting is happening here. And uh, this is what I'm getting to now. New scene. And I'm going to create a torus. Press the key F, jump to that torus, and give it another color, light blue. For the twist, you need, like for all, deformers really. You need a lot of geometry here. So when you click on that torus and go to the poly torus 1, which is the basic shape which makes this torus here, where you can adjust the radius, which we don't want. The radius is just fine. The section radius could be a little bit smaller, but uh, what is interesting here for us is we need lots of subdivisions and in the height as well. And now we apply the twist. If you don't find it, it's under deform and nonlinear, and it's the twist here. And you need to be in the modeling menu set. Again, we have the the problem that nothing happens. But um, when we rotate the twist, and that's what I'm going to do now, press and hold the key J to snap the rotation. That's 90 degrees now. And you already see how the torus is being twisted. Let's go to that twist hand handle again here and we now change the start and end angle. So complicated to model this with a curve for example which you could do as well or with manipulating individual components. The high bound and the low bound is the distance of the twist where it starts to work. If you move it all the way over here to the right in this case there's no influence whatsoever and here the influence is very strong if you move it the the left one over here you see that um, the influence is only on that part of the geometry so it's extremely powerful to use it so that's my first experiment here the torus second thing use a pyramid for a change. And again we need geometry here, subdivisions in the height. That's good. And now we duplicate it, control D, move it over here, move it over here and rotate it a little bit like this. And now with Shift D we duplicate it in the same pattern as before. I'm just using Shift D and Shift D 
That's all real time. So we have lots of them now. What we do now is we go to the side window and select them all and press the key F8 which brings us the component selection mode F8 in order to get back to the previous one and now I select only the top ones and I move them up like this now I select them all again and apply the twist and the twist from above is quite interesting already let's play with the start angle I can again rotate this could lead to a chain for example what you can also do is move the twist handle and the effect moves with it it's similar to mesh the mesh network which uh, does well similar things our third example will create text and you see that we don't have faces here so you need to go under it's the type 1 node here to geometry and under geometry you have the section deformable type and when you tick this on you get geometry at the front and at the back it's not the most elegant geometry but it is there with the type font selected you invoke this command which you've seen before and again we're twisting oh sorry I'm deeply sorry we need music here <laughs> Final example, when you combine the twist with other nonlinear deformations, you can do this create a cube, scale it up, give it more geometry, especially in the height, but in the other dimensions as well. Now comes the twist. When you apply the twist, you get this wonderful rotation it's not nice but now you can apply a bend when you click here you see the bend it's right in the middle that green line and the green line has to do with this curvature and when you raise this value here you can do this now since all things in Maya have history you can go back to the twist and do these things and then you go back to the bend handle enter a precise value here which actually I did because the slide is all the way to the right curvature is 180 if I um, change this to 270 I get this and uh, to 90 I get of course only the half of that object I think uh, 180 is just perfect so uh, watch out for the proper precise values here then you have a geometry which is totally rotational symmetrical and with this I wish you a very good day 
until next Tuesday. Bye-bye.